So hello and welcome to today's episode of Bloody Mysteries, where today it's a bit of a special episode as we're mixing it up with Grand Theft Auto 4. Now back when Grand Theft Auto 4 was a hot new release in 2008, about a few weeks after the game's launch, there was a massive rumour that Jimmy Hopkins from Buddy could be seen in the game somewhere. Now while this does sound like the San Andreas Bigfoot myth, there was a bit of evidence attached to give some credibility to Jimmy living in Liberty C. But before we cover all that, let's go over where this rumour began. Serviced in late spring or early summer 2008, this photo of an NPC Nico Bennett killed sprung quite a lot of debate whether this was Jimmy Hopkins, some arguing this was Jimmy due to the very, very similar look to Jimmy, such as the vest, the slacks and the shaved head, while others saying it's a mere coincidence. The earliest trace I could find of this picture goes back to a YouTuber by the name of Shooting Star 13 who uploaded this picture to YouTube in May 2008. Yes, YouTube, not a forum, but yeah. There's no denying that this character Nico killed strikes a shockingly close resemblance to Jimmy, and thus a plethora of rumours on how to meet or find Jimmy began. Now this was pushed into a possible real thing because of Borf Academy making an appearance on the in-game TV show called I'm Rich, confirming that Buddy might exist in the GTA 4 universe after all. The second bit of evidence that people pointed out was the Farewell Graffiti, which, in case you don't know what it is, it lists all the previous protagonists from the PS2 era of Rockstar Games as being dead. We've got CJ, Claude, Vic, Tony and Tommy. But Jimmy isn't named here, so some people believe that this was just a reference to Jimmy Hopkins being alive and well. And so the hunt to find Hopkins began. Now one of the most quickly widespread methods on how to see Jimmy was in the cutscene for Blow Your Cover, where you can actually see someone in the background who supposedly resembles Jimmy dancing. But this was disproven very quickly when people noticed this character was, well, black, not white. Secondly, this character also wore a tie, and he also wore jeans. Now some people actually pointed out this might have been Pathos, a character Nico can meet later on. Plus not to mention this character has a completely different face compared to Jimmy, but that didn't stop some people believing Jimmy was out there in Liberty City, just waiting to be found. Some more rumours that surfaced include that Jimmy could be found hacking around the Hove Beach kind of area, after going on a date to the Rundown Pier, or apparently he could be found near the Rundown Amusement Park because apparently has something to do with Bully, you know the carnival? Yeah I think that's a bit of a stretch but that's what people put. But one of the best rumours I read up was apparently there was an unmarked random encounter with him, which according to what I read, Jimmy would be dressed in a starting outfit, you know the whole brown jacket, jeans, white sneakers kind of thing. He was now 17 years old and there'd be a really small mission where you'd drive Jimmy home and the entire mission was just a bit fan service covering the epilogue of Buddy, such as what happened to Gary, Zoe and Johnny etc. The mission basis apparently was that Jimmy was going to be on a date himself, but his partner never showed up and he had no money for a cab, so Nico would offer to take him home and Jimmy would pay him upon arrival. This rumour also said there was a second mission where Nico would discover Jimmy's date was eventually murdered by Eddie Lowe, which did seem plausible as Eddie Lowe lived in Dukes, not too far from the Hove Beach area, and his entire character arc was based around being a serial killer. Now, despite how cool that may sound, it was obviously fake. Since there was no video company in this, just a I found this by complete accident kind of scenario. But some believed it and got really disappointed when Jimmy never turned up at the pier at any time. Plus, looking back, well, plus rereading it, there's a bit of a major plot hole with Nico not knowing who Jimmy Date was supposed to be, so for all we know, this character could just be somebody who got in the way of Luis Lopez or Johnny Clevitz. But once again, in 2009, a channel by the name of Rahman11 uploaded a video called 100% Proof Jimmy Hopkins in GTA 4. Now I'll admit, even I believed this at first because the quality on the video is that bad, you really can't make it pixels. But much like Shooting Stars video, or picture, whatever you want to call it, this NPC is the exact same one he found. However, one key bit of info was supplied here. In the description, Rahman put that he found this NPC after finishing the Puerto Rico connection mission. But, as expected, this also wasn't Jimmy. If you go frame by frame on the video, as you can clearly see, well, <laughs> not clearly see, but if you go frame by frame, you'll occasionally come across a really clear frame. And you can tell this is not Jimmy because the NPC is black again, his vest is black, and not blue. Now, I really hope I don't come off as racist by saying this, but how the hell do so many people keep confusing a black person for a 15-year-old white skinhead? Twice. But, the rumour of Jimmy Hopkins being in GTA 4 just died quickly. At this point, GTA 4 was already a year old, and while some were hopeful Rockstar would acknowledge the rumour and add Jimmy to the DLCs, it never happened. So, it is an incredibly abrupt ending, but to be honest, it's to be expected as, at this point, these rumours were near enough every GTA game. Like, we had Bigfoot, Aliens, Zombie Elvis Presley, Ratman, and so many more. So, that's the history of Jimmy Hopkins and GTA 4. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for even more bully content, or reviews of other Rockstar games. 
So thank you for watching and have a great day.